And welcome back, everybody. Another session of Gaming with God. I'm your host, Grumpy Old Dude. Start with apologies for it being like three weeks since uh, I last posted. Torqued my back, was laid up for about a week. Got a week behind then on uh, the painting here around the house. Wife was not happy, really upset with me. Uh, then I think if you've been following the channel for any length of time, you know that I've been having issues with the laptop on heating and cooling. I think it started to fry the CPU. I was getting, when I did a, a YouTube playback, I'd get a stutter. You remember Max Headroom on TV? That's what uh, the YouTube playbacks would be like, or video playback of any sort. So I built a new computer, and that took a few days to do once everything came in. Got it up and running. Uh, let me know what you think. Is, is this microphone, I've got a separate mic now. I don't need the headset. Uh, if this works better, you know, Give me your feedback. Now, you'll notice that the map over here on the side doesn't show much except where we are. I've had to download everything and reinstall it on this game, on this computer. And so what was mapped out was lost. <laughs> that, that's on a different computer. So we're going to be mapping freshly from where we are now. We are in Zento Keep, and we're going to continue from there. Let's see what... Oh. Here we go. And that's that same house one. That puts us back on the street. Some rotten food drops on top of you from an open window. You broke it into a home. You see a group of people drag a body around the corner. You overhear troopers, priests, and mages all at odds, and Dimswart, the sage, has disappeared. You see a small halfling scuttling about in the distance. She a dog piddles on your leg. <laughs> uh, you over here you can't find a decent mark anywhere everybody's a mage or a priest with magical protection now Flan there's a city for a slippery hand city has gone silent streets are deserted and ominous dread seeps into your bones a dreamlike voice in your head says a great danger lies before you be fully prepared uh oh. A female halfling appears from a hidden niche. Niche. She and you enter her statement as journal entry 50. It's going to appear to journal uh, 41 to 50 and 50. Olive says, "Well, now aren't we a fine bunch of adventurers? My name is Olive Ruskettle, and I know a bit about those tattoos on your arm. A pal of mine had some similar marks a while back. I wonder where she is. Listen." You gotta get a hold of the amulet of Lathander. There is a man who could help you, but he's been captured and is being held prisoner inside the temple. His name is Dimswart, the sage, and he helped that friend of mine I told you about. I have a secret way into the temple. What do you say? Do you follow her? Do we really have any choice? Yes. You have entered the dark shrine through a hole in the wall created by a magical device carried by the halfling. As the walls close behind you, you see the device smoke and disappear. As Olive leads you through the dungeon, she explains about Dimswart the Sage. You note this down as journal entry 51. The human you are looking for, Dimswart, he's a very good sage and a music lover, which is why we get along. Did you know that I was a bard? Yes, sir, I've got my harp right here, and I can sing for you. Well, maybe now is not the time. Anyway, Zal Shembrel has captured... Hmm. Dimswart is just beyond this door. Olive smiles and disappears. Okay. Let's see. Let's do this. And camp. Save. C. K. 
He said he's something really stupid here. You see an old man in a cell. He introduces himself and you record his remarks in journal entry 12. <clears throat> oh. Dimswart says, my name is Dimswart the Sage. I am happy to meet you, though I wish it were under better circumstances. I knew some other people who had bonds similar to yours and have spent some time studying them. I see that some of the symbols are missing, however. I would suppose that originally there were five. Essentially, the symbols are power signs of five powerful factions that have banded together. Needless to say, they are all extremely evil. Their common purpose is to enhance their collective power. However, if this bonding follows the previous pattern, and with Moander and the Fire Knives involved, I have little doubt that it will, each of the evil powers has its own use for you to the detriment of the others. That is your greatest advantage. I have personal knowledge of one of your bonds. The hand or the mouth is the symbol of Moander. His aspect was destroyed the last time he tried to enter this plane. It's probable that Mogian, his surviving high priestess, has placed a symbol on you as a part of her attempt to bring him back. I know little more than the identity and some rumors about the other symbols. The Z, encased in a circle on a triangular field, is the symbol of the Zentrum, our hosts, I'm afraid. It is said that they have a great horde of lawful good weapons and magical items hidden somewhere. I was attempting to find out where it is when I was captured. I have determined that the horde is not at Zantil Keep. It is rumored that Zal Shembrel, the leader of the Zentrum, is attempting to bring persons of good alignment under his power so that he can use these devices. The half moon with three bars is the sign of Dracandros. He is a mighty red wizard of Thay, but he has been banished for having overweening ambition untempered with any sense of tact or timing. It is said he has an obsession with dragons, hence his name. His symbol also resembles that of Elminster of Shadowdale. Dracandros obviously hopes that he can be as powerful as Elminster someday. Finally, the claws of flame are the symbol of Tyranthrax. Tyranthraxus. I thought we beat him already. The flamed one. I thought that it would take him much longer to recover after the recent events in Flan. Okay. His is the greatest threat, as his ambition is the domination of the entire prime material plane, and he controls the pool of radiance, which must still exist if he is back. To finish off, i got to raise this up a little bit. This thing continues. Oh, oh gee, then I just lost my journal there. Uh, 12. There. To finish off Terran... Terran Thraxis, you will need three magical artifacts. I know that they have been distributed amongst three of the powers that have bonded you. One of the artifacts, the Amulet of Lathander, is somewhere here in Zento Keep. Drakandros has the Helm of Dragons near Haptooth. And Mogian controls the Gauntlet of Miranda at Eulash. None of these items are of any use except when they are in the vicinity of the Pool of Radiance. Unfortunately, I don't know how their magic works. Okay, so well, that was what he had to say. Will you take Dim Swart along? Sure. We'll take Dim Swart along. You find a secret door to the west. You know, it's a small door below the altar. What do you do? Well, since it's given us the option to detect trap, I think we'll do that. Bernie detects a trap. What do you do? Let's see. I believe... I remember right. Farron. Or is it Darren? I think it's Farron is my magic user thief. Disarm the trap. Who will disarm the trap? Aaron. Oh shit. A cloud of gas envelops the party. Party has found treasure.
Is that fair? And did I have the right guy? Got her magic user. I had the wrong one. That's why it blew up on me. Darren is who I wanted. That's what happens when it's been a couple of weeks. Yep, Darren's who I wanted to have and try and disarm it. That's not who I did. Okay. Yep. There's that. Now, what's in here? A long sword, a wand, and 20 arrows. What's he got for a sword here? He has a long sword plus one. Friend will take the long sword and Clarence will take the wand. And Darren will take the arrows. Then we'll come up here and do a camp fix. Now everybody's healthy again. And we continue to search what looks to be a temple area. A hooded woman suddenly appears and says, Follow me, I can get you out of here. You are trapped here. My master can help you. Oh. Oh. Do I want to look at Game Banshee and see? Nah. Do you follow? Okay, sure. A strange shimmer surrounds you. The room around you begins to fade. Just before it does, a band of clerics bursts into the room, led by Zowl Shembrel. He yells, Woman, you go too far! As the room fades away, he turns and rushes out of the room. You are led along a dark corridor. You see before you, Dexum the Beholder. The hooded woman walks to a milling group of armored minotaurs. They immediately snap to attention. Dexum speaks. He recorded his speech as journal entry 30. So these are Zal's little secret. Very interesting. As a representative of the true priests of Bane, I shall deliver you to Mole Master and the Grand Imperceptor. Once in Mole Master, I will examine these bonds in my laboratory to your extreme discomfort, I'm afraid. But you may be comforted that during the final procedure, the one that will result in your death, the pain will not go on for more than, oh, two, perhaps three weeks. Once I have uncovered the secret of these bonds, the imperceptor will be most angry with this dear little Zowl, and we may finally rid ourselves of this heretic and his precious mages. I'm willing to bet a fight begins. Dim Swart the Sage whispers, look on the altar. That's the amulet of Lathander. What do you do? Well, that'll be the day. Before you can act, an impressive man, backed by troops, priests, and magicians, rushes into the room. His statement is journal entry 7. I am Zal Shembrel, High Lord of the Dark Shrine. My precious mages, as you call them, have allowed me to follow your minion. Dexum, you overstep your authority. My mark is on these people, and the Imperceptor will know of my work in due time. It is I who work for the greater glory of Bane. The powers granted us by Bane, combined with the power of the secular magic users, will bring about a Baneite hegemony in the realms. And these bonded tools are central to the consolidation of our power. With them, I hope to be able to control and avoid the traps set in magical items by the lawful and the good. The bonded ones are under my control and authority, it will remain so for as long as I live. Sounds like what we need to do is kill Vowel, Vowel, whatever the hell his name is. Dexum roars, then die, heretic, and blasts Zowl into a heap of ash. You feel the bonds on your arms start to writhe. Right. The bond of Zowl fades. Now that the bond is gone, they are of no use to me. Kill them. Dexum turns to the elder and starts to leave. You notice the amulet rising to meet him. As Dexum leaves, his forces in the room open. 
You are attacked by forces of Zentil Keep. <laughs> that was quick. Didn't let me finish reading it. Ah, such is life. Let's see here. Two forces. There's only eight forces of Zentil Keep here? Huh. Aim. Yeah, there's a spellcaster back there. Target him. And target him. Missing going on. Shoot him again. Caster. <laughs> Treated places, huh? So the healthy one there ran away, and the beat up one jumped in the front and got to die for it. And they all died for it. Okay. No. Take. Okay. Let's have Clarence down here and take the darts. He's overloaded. He's overloaded. He is overloaded. <laughs> Got a whole bunch of crap on him. Let Edwina pick up the bracers. They've got value. Go ahead and pick up the darts for her. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Leave the rest of the stuff later. You're still treasured. You want to go back? Nope. Okay. Now we're in the Temple of Bane somewhere. You are attacked by forces of Zentil Keep. More forces of Zentil Keep, huh? Okay.
Let's go on a little way. Get your long sword and shield out. Come up here and start on the spellcasters. Oh! That's not good. That's not good at all. Shit, I don't have whole person. <gasps> That's not good. Sitting on forty, huh? Uh. 
do not move. Aim. This is not going well. Bless it. Ah. <sighs> Load C. <laughs> Didn't work, did it? <laughs> okay, so we go back to where we were when we first freed Dibswart. Introduces himself, Dibswart. We go through that whole thing again. You got him come along? Yes. You are face to face with the unwashed minions of Bane. Oh, we hadn't faced that one before. The priests attack. That's not good. Priests are not good. Sorry, Bernie. Slay Living only did five points of damage to him? Let's try it again. Ah!
that worked better. Unconscious, 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 okay. Oh, yes, we want to go back. Staslings, quarrels. See anything there that jumps out as being magical? Here in Camp Fix. And lo and behold, everybody's healthy again. <coughs> okay, however, we did burn up some spells there. So what's in camp? Magic. Paladin is done heavy. They're in a second, third, and a fourth level. A second. A third. And a fourth. Aaron. A fourth and a fifth. There's the fifth. There's the fourth. Edwina. Two of those, two fourth and two fifth. And two fifth. Six first. And a fourth. Yeah, your repose is interrupted. That's what I was afraid of. Bunch of priests again. Shit, 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 shit.
Dead shit. This one, so we can move on to the next one. Two died though, right? Yep. And Darren? Yep. And nothing that leaps out is magic. And can't fix, which is really cheap and cheesy, but not everybody's healthy again. Okay, however, I cannot rest there and get my spells back, and I need those. So we're going to go back to Dimward's cell and try resting in there.
second, third, and fourth. Second, third, fourth. Fair in the A first, fourth, and fifth. A first, fourth, and fifth. Edwina. Two first, two second, two fourth, and two fifth. I skipped her two fifth levels, didn't I? Let's do this again. Two first, two second, two fourth, two fifth. Here we go. And in the jail cell, I can rest. We needed that. Save C. Secret door again. Small door will detect trap again, disarm. This time we'll use the right guy to do it. Darren. Succeeds. Let's <laughs> share it. That's okay, that's how I want Farron to take the sword. Clearance to take the wand and Darren to take the arrows. So here we go. No, 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 wrong button. No, okay, we're going to tell you what we're going to do. Save that to C. And it just crashed the desktop. Oh, I hope it didn't. I hope it didn't crash and burn and corrupt the save file. It did crash and burn. It crashed the desktop. I hope it didn't corrupt the save file. That is something that I've read uh, comments on in a number of sites that these cold boss games do have a propensity to crash and burn looks like it might be all right soon enough, huh? Eh, follow me. Yeah, we will. Okay. Yada, yada, yada. Yada, blah, blah, blah. Threat, 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 threat. More threats. 
Yeah, I'm gonna kill you slow. It'll take two, three weeks. You're gonna feel a lot of pain. Okay. Oh, as Dexum leaves his forces and the remaining troops of Zal start melee in the room around you. Hmm. That's interesting. You are attacked by a band of minotaurs and priests. That's not good. Okay. old person. I think it's a fourth target now.
I need Edwina to get her turn. Or does she get held? Here and we do end camp fix. Now everybody's healthy again. All right, now take. What do we have here? Nothing that is obviously magical. Oh. There's a whole bunch of stuff there that's magical. All three plate mails, the chain mail. plate. There's a whole bunch of plate down here too. Magic shit. Oh. Uh, in camp. Save. See. No. Okay. Let's set the search off. You're attacked by a band of priests and minotaurs. Okay, so we're not going to just get to walk out of here. It's really too bad. Oh, he doesn't have magic missile. What do we have here? Let's put the quarterstaff away for a minute. Let's take a look. I don't remember. Call to call an old person. Cast yes, old person. Target. Target.
target. Don't miss. That's right, I picked a lot of stuff up, now they can't move. Everybody's all loaded down. I can't take anything anyway. <laughs> There's more whole shit loads of magic stuff there that I can't take. Okay. You see letters A S scratched into the wall. All right. Let me check the timing here. I'll be right back to you. All right, we are at 62 and a half minutes. I'm not going to um, edit out where I get the party killed off. <laughs> Shit happens in these gold box games. That's the way it works. Um, oops. That's exactly, there we are. I want to do this first. I want to do. 
Yeah, okay. Yeah. Save B. So this is where we'll pick up next episode. Uh, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Take care of yourselves, my friends. Stay safe. Have fun. And as always, until we see each other again, stay the hell off my front yard. In the meantime, hit that like button, click subscribe, and do enjoy your day. Thanks a lot for taking time out of it to watch this. I appreciate that. Bye-bye.